I guess the thing that I got out of um, CMS this year is that I actually got to meet my hero. And um, we always hold these guys on a high pedestal, but uh, this this gentleman was the most humble man I've ever ran across. We need to be reminded sometimes that humbleness is, is a powerful tool in Christ. Hey, it's Patty. Um, what I took most from CMS this year is that everyone has a place and a design and a will in God's ultimate plan and that even I as insignificant as I feel is actually important and that I should fight like a girl. I know it sounds funny doesn't it? But um, to fight like a girl because that's who God made me. He didn't design me to be a dog. He didn't design me to be a man. He didn't design me to be anything else but what I am. And, and learning to be who I am and fighting like a girl that I am actually following God's plan and God's destiny in my life. So that is what I took most from CMS. The best thing I got out of this conference is that, you know, my voice is not just my voice and something I use every day, but it's a muscle and it's also an instrument. So I have to practice and study and see if I can use my voice the best way that I can use it. Um, in order to worship God the best that I can. Hi Grace, this is Austin Schaefer from First Christian Praise Chapel. First, I'd like to tell you all thank you so much for letting us go on this conference and putting this together in such a way that we could go and making it available for other churches. One of the best things I learned out of this conference was a statement by one of the teachers. He said, we need to do worship in a way that's excellent. He said that um, excellence brings glory to God and it inspires people. The one thing that I got out of CMS was that you need to worship God at home, not just at church. And the way that the lady explained it was that if you're in a relationship, you know you're married and you only see your spouse once a week and you're set up by 200 people when you see him, how often, how good are you going to get to know him? And so her point was that you need to worship so by the time when Sunday comes around, you have a really good relationship with them. My favorite thing about CMS is probably learning about piano and learning how I can use it in my life and learning how uh, all these different chords that go together better. My, all, my second favorite thing was uh, this, this one songwriting class with Jason Ingram from One Sonic Society. Uh, he like taught us all about different uh, different like ways to write songs. And uh, my third favorite thing was the photography class where they taught us about like different how like. So always have your camera on you and different lenses are always like the key and doing everything because uh, you could take a picture from far away and just zoom in and like you only get like part of the background but and have something in the front but if you take a picture of something at really close but like all the way to down um, you'll get the whole background just kind of some stuff like that. This year at CMS I was reminded and challenged to share responsibilities of leadership with other people, to create more time for myself, um, to be able to do other things that God has called me to, things like songwriting, leadership development. So I'm going to focus on sharing responsibilities with other people and including them in leadership and including them in responsibilities of making an effective music ministry operate. Here at CMS, I learned that in writing worship music, God will not give you songs for the church that are going to be important unless you have demonstrated your love for the church. Because He loves the church, the church is His bride, and He's not going to give you things that are important to her unless you love her. Ah. Uh, what I learned most at CMS this year was uh, a lot of sound stuff, actually. Um, it was really cool taking some of that and uh, see what some of the professionals do. Uh, the class I took, the guy uh, has ran sound for 
Lincoln Brewster and Paul Loesch and all those uh, cool guys and also tours with Kenny Chesney. So he had a lot of really good stuff to offer and uh, how to get certain sounds and back things off um, and still have a good sound and everything like that. So yeah, that's what I learned. I uh, had a good time and got to meet some really cool people and we'll come back next year. See ya. My favorite thing I learned about CMS was probably the photog photography class of worship. The best camera is the one that you have on. Hi, I'm Art Walters from First Baptist Berlin. To pick out one thing in this conference that stood out among everything else is really difficult. But if I learned one thing, less is more. Try to cut some things out of the mix before you add more in it. The sweetest thing I found was between three and 5,000 worship team leaders, team members, musicians, and sound technicians all gathered together under one roof with one intent, to worship our God and to learn to do so better. Worship has never been experienced so sweet. Hi, I'm Melanie Walters. I'm from FBC Burley. And one of the things that um, was more of a reminder to me, but it really struck home is that um, we as musicians have to kind of get out of the way of God when we come to lead. And um, one of the ways in the process that we do that is through practice. We get the music into our hands and our head. But at rehearsal, then we start adding our heart and our soul to the music. But what happens on Sunday morning is where we start to give back what we have gained through the week. In our practice and during the time of rehearsal, we can give that music back to God on Sunday morning. So when your worship leaders are coming before you, know that they've gone through a process of giving the music back to God to come on Sunday morning. So you need to be giving it to Him as well. Hi. What I learned most from CMS this year is that I need patience. And in order to have patience, I need to have peace. And in order to have peace, I need to focus on Jesus and pray for contentment in my circumstances. Okay. The most important thing I learned at CMS was probably uh, the idea that you kind of always got to be searching, thinking outside the box. Uh, don't ever become complacent with uh, any given ideas. I'm not driving right now, by the way. I'm just looking out the window. Um, but, uh, like, for instance, when you perform a song, you don't always have to perform it the same way every day as you performed it five years, five days ago. You can, you can change things and not be afraid of what people are going to think about it. You can maybe, in, instead of doing it like a, a contemporary rock version, you can do um, a reggae version if you want. You can do just different things to always kind of make it interesting. Who knows, you might make it new for a new generation or, you know, a new, might, might, might just break a barrier culturally uh, or just have some fun with it. But a song that you've heard your whole life will all of a sudden become new and come alive again and, you know, re, re inspire uh, old passionate feelings about that song that made you, you know, really just got you all turned on to God. Um, but just that, and then expand, you can even expand beyond um, church uh, worship music. You can, you can expand into the kitchen, you can expand into uh, the way that you've ran a class forever. You don't have to run it that way all the time. You can change things up and do things different. And just, you know, play to the, play to the people as far as that goes, I guess, so to speak. Uh, and I think that's about the biggest thing that I learned. Is if, if better is possible, you know, good is not enough. Always be moving forward. Amen. <laughs>